Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to give you an overview of how to add two vectors together graphically, and there are two separate methods to do so. One method is called the triangle rule, the other method is called the parallelogram rule. So let's take two vectors. Here we have vector A and vector B, and they're pointing in different directions and they have different lengths. How do you add them together? Well, the first method, the triangle rule, you start with the first vector. It doesn't matter which one is your first vector. You can take either one and you place it anywhere you like as long as you don't change the direction of the vector or the length of the vector. So we can take vector A and put it right over here. Same length, same direction. Then we take vector B and we take the tail of vector B and connect it to the, to the tip of vector A. So we just move vector B and move it right there. Now, the resultant, or the sum of those two vectors, and that's what we call it when we add two vectors together graphically, we either get the resultant or we get what we call the vector sum, can be obtained by drawing another vector, a third vector, which is then, of course, the sum of the two other vectors, starting from the tail of the first vector and end at the tip of the second vector. This here is the vector sum, graphically, of adding vector A to vector B. We can get the exact same result by doing it slightly differently by using what we call the parallelogram rule. What we do here is we take vector A and place it right there. Then we take vector B and place it right there so that the two tails of the vectors connect. Then you go to the tip of each of the two vectors. You draw a line of the, on the first vector starting from the tip of the first vector parallel to the other vector right here. So you draw another line so that the two lines are parallel right here that the direction of the vector B is parallel to this line. And then you start from the tip of the second vector and draw a line that's parallel to the first vector. And where those two parallel lines meet, you make a little point, and then you draw a third vector, which of course represents the sum of A and B, the sum of the two vectors, from the tip where the two meet here, or I should say from the tail where the two meet here, to the, to the point right here where the two parallel lines meet. That will be also the vector sum or the resultant of adding the two vectors together. And it doesn't matter if you use this method right here or use this method right here, you get the exact same result. The resultant, the sum of the two vectors, will have the same length and the same direction. So therefore, either method is just fine and whatever method you want to use, it's usually a personal preference when you try to work it out. So those are the two graphical methods that are most used to add two vectors together graphically. And that's how it's done. 